Visual Literacy Medieval vs. Modern Day by Viviana Valenzuela. This is my final for my ancient and medieval class. So I'm going to be doing my project on the late Italian medieval art. Um, it is a period of art that came after the fall of the Constantinople Byzantine Empire. It mainly focuses on Christianity and what artists were trying to do back in the day was trying to educate common folk um, who couldn't read the Bible. Visual literacy is actually very um, interesting when you think about it from a visual literacy standpoint um, on how it was used for the Bible and how it's used in modern day. An example for modern day is how we have cues in scenes um, to understand things without it being directly said to us. I'm putting an example of a meme from a very famous TV show. Uh, it just shows like very subtle hints that you would know because you watched the show. So this is my friend Kellen. She's going to be helping me with my project. Uh, she knows some art, but not a lot. I hate this one. It There's a lot going on. The buildings... I like the pink. Pink's cute. Um, is it like a medieval market? I don't... I don't really like it. This is the painting that Kellen is referring to. It was um, one part of a two-part mural that was put up in a legislative branch in the Palazzo Publico in Siena. And it was meant to show um, what a prosperous economy would look like if this legislatives did their jobs. worse than the first one. Um, I'm guessing it's like the Virgin Mary. Because all medieval things were like... Ooh, Jesus. I don't like it. It's worse than the first one. The gold's cute. That's a cute little gold. But, um... I don't like her face. She's like... Like, what is that? Could they not... Could they, like... Could they not draw faces in medieval times? I'm so glad that I live in 2020, even though it sucks. <laughs> Artists these days can draw faces. Look at Naruto. This is the Annunciation, which is basically any um, scene in Christian art that portrayed the contraception of Christ. Um, visual literacy in this is at its peak with the saints on both sides showing different kind of objects that kind of um, tells you who they are without it being explicitly written. Isn't this one like the Ghent something? Like the, okay, she's in green, which means fertility. Um... Her husband looks like Vladimir Putin. I like the dog. Is that a dog? I like the little creature. Isn't the mirror super important? This one's like super famous. I kind of know this one. Um, it's better than the other two. The other two were crap compared to this one. Even though he looks like Putin and she looks miserable. In this painting, Arnolfini is showing off his wealth with... Um, in the background, some subtle hints of exotic fruits, the shoes that he's wearing, um, the garments that he's wearing, and Jan van Eyck also kind of tries to throw his hat at showing off by showing how great his talent is and making small portraits within the mirror itself and also signing his work, which wasn't very common during that era of art. In conclusion, um, if you didn't grow up in the environment that a common person would have grown up with, if you didn't attend mass, the amount of times that a commoner would have attended, you wouldn't really understand these paintings, especially since society has become more on the secular side than on the religious side. Um, it really just depends on what era you were born. Like, for example, Kellen would understand a scene in a movie far more than she would understand a painting. Um, but also, to be fair, Callan didn't really understand the assignment and she didn't have iced coffee. So I'd like to thank you for watching my presentation on this. Um, I really like PowerPoints more, but I guess uh, doing this as a voiceover kind of helped me too. So thank you.